Media interest was high when Parktown Boys' first 11 hockey team <laughs> went to O.R. Tambo International Airport May 8th to welcome home the South African national men's hockey side, who were returning from Japan after qualifying for the London Olympics. Give us a beat. Three of the national squad are Parktown Old Boys and the current Parktown First Eleven captain, seen here being interviewed live for Supersport, is in the junior national South African team. I think if they prepare well off the field, I think the results will come on the field. I mean, if they've got that drive, I mean, anything's possible. Cool. Thank you, Mark. I heard your school teacher calling you saying you've got to go do a war cry there. Yeah. Thanks so much Thank for you. chatting Thank to you. us. The atmosphere is absolutely electric here. The, the crowd is growing. There's more and more school children coming in to support their South African hockey heroes, which is fantastic to see. We're waiting for them to arrive. They're flying in via Hong Kong, and we've heard news that they have landed, so waiting for them to come through arrivals. Live at OR Tambo, I'm Zylan Fanek for Super Sport Blitz. Uh, I'm Michael Markey, captain of the first team, boy, uh, first team hockey team at Park Town Boys High School, and we'd just like to wish the South African men's hockey team all the luck for the Olympics as they just qualified. We're so proud of them, especially Lance and Old Boy. They've done the, the whole country proud and now we're finally behind them. And I think uh, they've proved us wrong by qualifying for the Olympics. And I'm sure they can go all the way now if they just put in the hard yards on and off the field. And we just like to say how proud of them we are. And then uh, this is just us part-time boys. We just want to say congratulations. So one, two, three. Part -time! Yeah. <laughs> The South African national team, who are also African champions, won all six of their matches in Japan, beating Japan 2-1 in the final and bringing the cup home, as well as qualifying for the Olympics. Old boy Lance Lowe, nurtured at Park Town and seen here greeting the current first 11, played a pivotal role in getting the South African men's hockey team into the Olympics. It must be exciting to be in the Olympics. Yes, very exciting, seeing that we've been working with us for the last 18 months, so it's good for every all of us. Uh, and did you ever imagine when you started a part time boys that you'd end up in the Olympic team? I didn't really imagine that first of all, but it's now it's a dream come true. Yeah. And how much of an inspiration has part time been to you? They've supported me since I've been there since then at six, and just to see all the boys that they're still behind me all the way, which is good for me and good for the school. And, and now, what do you think? Is the sky the limit? Yeah, the sky's the limit now. I think for all the boys standing here and for the coach, and I think Aitken this weekend, they've got to make sure they're winning it. <laughs> if you had a grade seven son, uh, what would you say to what would you say to a grade seven boy who's thinking about which school to go to for, to learn hockey? I'd say they should go to Parkdown, seeing that there's such a big school and such big. Um, a rise and all that from the school and there's support from everyone in the school and even from the old boys everything I get. So I'd recommend Park Town boys. Okay boys, give them a greeting. Oh. Hello. 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 Thanks. Three, two, one. Park Town.